All right, what's going on everybody? What's good? I hope y'all are having a good day today in this video What I got going on for you all is I'm going to be discussing some upcoming April sneak releases And we're going to be discussing whether you should sell them if you get them or if you should hold them Whether they're kind of a good sneaker investment or not And um, I mean this is just kind of again These are some of the best sneaker releases to resell some of these ones uh, And then some of these ones are not and you know again I'll be giving kind of advice on which drops you should go for which ones you should avoid kind of all that So I hope you guys will enjoy again if you want more content just like this feel free to Go ahead, subscribe below, and also drop a like. I'd appreciate it. Goal in this video, I'm just gonna make something simple. Let's just go for like 220 likes. So if you could hit that, that'd be dope. Um, if we do hit it, that'd be awesome. I'd like to see support, you know, because it lets me know that you guys uh, want more content kind of like this on the channel. And you know, it, help, it helps the video, you know, get that, get out there more. You know, if you all like it, gets out there more. See your boy appreciates it. But that's all I gotta say. Check my Discord down below if you want to. Also, and let's get started. All right, so as you guys can see, I am here with the screen recording, and I just got my IGs on the screen, so check them out down below if you want to. Feel free. Uh, I'd appreciate the follow there, and it'd go a long way. But let's kind of get into discussing some recent releases you should go for, you shouldn't go for, which ones you should sell if you get them, which ones you should hold, all that kind of info. So this release, you guys should straight up avoid. Uh, it is not going to be profitable, and if it is profitable, it is like $10 profitable. So I just wouldn't really go for it. Personal opinion, just avoid these ones, uh, and I wouldn't really go for them. It's the uh, LeBron Air Max is the home team ones they're on sneakers people have been asking me about them not really one to go for but another release that's soon after one uh soon after that you could go for is the wasted youth and his collaboration with uh i think verde yeah verde and which uh verde's wasted youth it's not two different uh brands right there but they're in a collaboration with nike and that's dropping on the sixth and this one is definitely just one you get and sell uh it's not really an investment in my opinion i think it will probably just uh go down in value after the drop kind of slowly because the, the dunk hype is drop uh kind of drop in over time and even even if it does rise slowly, I mean, there's other uh, investments that are better uh, that will kind of be happening over the summertime. So this one is not really a hold in my opinion. It's just kind of one you get, you flip it, and uh, you take the profit from it. Or if you really just want it because you you know you messed with uh, you messed with Verity. Personally, I'm gonna be honest here. I do, I'm uneducated, so I do not know what uh, Verity is. But uh, yeah, you know, if you kind of know what that is, you're a skater, you're just trying to get these to you know skate, or you just want to rock them, then uh, I hope you get your pair. Best of luck, and I will make an I'll, I'll make a how to cop video on this one soon. But uh, yeah, again, definitely just a flip if you get it if you're just trying to resell it um it's not really a bold that's it's not an investment in my opinion at least although it does have unique details and all that which yes it does you know kind of add a factor it's just it's uh I don't know. It, I, it could could be a little bit better looking too. I feel like, and they could have chosen maybe a different material, but I think that was done on purpose. And another one that is definitely dropping. This one is going to be uh, very profitable. And this one, I'm kind of fifty fifty on whether selling or holding. This is the only one that I'm really having some trouble with. I'd say uh, the Dunk Low Lemon Drop. As you guys can see, it's just a normal pair of Dunk Lows, really uh, normal material and all that. Uh, but the thing is that it has this little embroidered lemon on it, and I feel like uh, I don't know why, but the comment sections, everybody is going crazy over this. Um, I mean, it's just a lemon but everybody's going crazy over it and they want their pair and it seems like the hype for these ones is pretty uh, out there already uh, i mean i'm sure you know since it was leaked a couple weeks before that definitely helps it build some hype and i haven't really checked to see if this one's uh what it's reselling for or anything there's no like confirmed date or nothing but uh yeah i do think this one's pretty cool and i just think honestly kind of looking into it now since it is dunk i mean the chances are it could go up a little bit but again i'm gonna say the same thing as i did uh with the wasted youth dunks uh it's just a sell although it does have some unique uh, features on it. It could go up a little bit, but I mean, it's just since the dunk hype is going down right now, there's better shoes you can invest in. And especially this month, there's one in particular uh, that you should even put maybe all your focus towards because it'll make you the most money uh, maybe out of any shoe this year. I'm thinking out of just one shoe. If you get it for retail, uh, this will be a huge money maker. But um, though I'm, I'm sure there'll be other shoes that you can make more money off of. I'm just saying this one in terms of an investment, it's like the most outright, like clear money maker. So aside from that, we'll get, we'll get into that one in a little bit. Uh, but another investment aside from the lemon drop dunks very cool uh pair and hopefully anybody again that wants it for the personal collection will be able to get their pair and if they can't get it now then they can get it in like two years when the hype's dead so you know not the end of the world right and I hope, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what kind of happens. You know, people, uh, we'll see how long the dunk hype is here to stay because people have said it's continuing to die, but prices of dunks are some of like uh, the other pairs of dunks, like Vernier's uh, ceramics, like are going up still. So it's just like, all right, well, we'll see how much longer. I'm kind of like waiting too. I know, like I'm, I'm one of the people that said it's going to die. And I mean, 
Still waiting. But another one, this one is dropping mid, uh, mid April. I think it's dropping on the 15th, if I'm correct, or no, the 16th. So the day before, uh, the Jordan one, uh, hyper Royals, those ones are going to be a crazy release. Uh, but this is just a dunk low Spartan green. It'll be definitely a flip, not a hold, although it is a classic colorway. And I understand that, uh, maybe if it dropped like a year ago, then it would have been a hold definitely. But now, uh, no, it's just cause you know, although, you know, we're in heading into summertime and it also is dropping on the same day as this one. I had, there's a Michigan dunk low. Uh, so you got the Spartan green and Michigan dunk low. Uh, we'll get into this one in a second, but this Michigan dunk low and Spartan green, these ones, these two are both dropping on the same day. So just keep that in mind, April 16th. And I think the Spartan green, these ones are only releasing in adult sizes, if I am correct. Do a how-to cop on the times already, but this one right here, uh, the uh, Michigan dunk lows, these ones are releasing in grade school and preschool sizes. So just keep that in mind. These ones are going to be releasing uh, in multiple sizes. So you'll be able to go for grade school ones too. And those are money also. So again, not really an investment. I tried holding uh, the Michigan dunk high and that really didn't work out for me. So uh, that was like one of my only, like one of my few sneaker investments I've made that I haven't made money on, to be honest. I, I, I'm usually pretty good. I'm not like trying to like flex when I say this, but uh, my portfolio is looking pretty, pretty strong for sneaker investing right now, you know, just because, uh, you know, I've been making the right calls and I'm glad about that. But uh, one I made wrong was the Michigan dunk high and I'm not gonna, definitely not gonna make the wrong call here. This one is a sell. When you get it, do not hold it. It'll be a mistake if you do. And yeah, just again, any dunks, I'd say just offload them right now. That's my personal opinion. Uh, I, I am still holding a couple pairs of dogs, but they're like suede and like kind of more exclusive ones, the veneers and ceramics, but I'll probably sell them at towards end of April, mid April. So you guys will see kind of, my, I, it's my own risk. So I'll kind of see what happens with me doing that. But I do want to discuss the Air Jordan 1 Hyper Royal. And this one, I have a grade school picture up. Uh, yeah, it says uh, grade school sizes right here, but this one is releasing also an adult sizing to keep that in mind. So there will be grade school and adult sizing for this one. Uh, it'll appear on sneakers sooner or later I'm pretty sure since this one is going to be releasing there and this is probably one of the most hyped shoes this year uh, I'd say this far it might be the most hyped I mean it is a Jordan 1 Jordan 1s are always hyped and this one's an incredible investment if you guys have seen the uh, you know Jordan 1 turbo green and how much that sneaker went up over time uh, everybody's looking at this one now and they're like okay we're not gonna let this shoe go for $180 used to the sneaker event keep in mind that's what I bought my pair of turbo greens for $180 used to the sneaker event size 10 uh, and yeah you know that was kind of before the hype and now now, uh, there's just like an alternate colorway to this one. The other turbo greens are going for like $600 now. My biggest regret selling ever uh, when I sold those for 240. So I mean, yeah, just people are not going to make the same mistake in this one. They're not going to let the shoe go for below $400. If the University Blues didn't drop below $400, then I, I don't know what anybody is thinking that these ones are going to drop below $400. More limited, better looking. I mean, I don't know what anybody's thinking. So these ones are going to be, uh, yeah, up there in pricing. Uh, but I, I mean, again, I could see them drop below 400 But my personal opinion is I don't see that right now. But I could be wrong on that. But regardless, great investment. Probably best one this year. Uh, so far, at least. And yeah, don't forget, April 17th, that is going to be the release date for this one. Just keep that in mind. Very important. And definitely a hold. Hold. If you get it, do not sell it if you get it right off the bat unless you just kind of need the profit if it's like your first cop or something and you're just trying to resell it uh, I, I still I just still wouldn't man I mean it is just such a good hold like I mean it's just it, it's such a cool shoot too like this is that would be such a nice pair to have but I get it if you just if you have to sell it if it's just like your first shoe you got but hyper rolls yeah get them and definitely make the money so aside from that another one I want to mention I'm kind of putting this one a little bit out of uh, order in terms of dates but April 28th another amazing sneaker investment right here a definite hold right here the Air Jordan 4 unit University Blue. I mean, A, Jordan 4. Jordan 4s are super hyped. Uh, Jordan 4s and Jordan 1s this year are going crazy as they did last year. Uh, so yeah, you know, they're not slowing down with that. And this is another example, you know, the University Blue Jordan 4. Uh, definite hold, even even with the high retail price, I mean, 225, that's, that's a normal Jordan 4 retail price if I'm uh, correct. So nothing really out of the ordinary, but uh, the one thing I can tell you about this one is, you know, it's got that nice kind of, I guess, um, I call it like matted down suede. I don't know why I call it that, but uh, it just got really, really good. It's a really nice colorway. It's kind of got this cement theme on it too, just kind of with the blue. Uh, it is nice and it is definitely going to be one that is going for good money uh, once it releases. And I definitely think it will go up over time just because that nice university blue colorway. And yeah, you know, right now I'm at 500, 600 is what they're saying, but it'll dip uh, and then probably go back up to that point eventually. So this one is definitely an investment in my opinion. 
I would definitely keep my pair and hold it if I could. So if that's probably what I'm gonna be doing end of this, uh, you know, end of April, I'm definitely gonna be looking to buy pairs of these. And uh, yeah, you know, I mean, investments have been great lately. I mean, there's been a lot of good shoes to hold. I cannot uh, deny that. There's a lot of been, been a ton of great releases and a ton of shoes are good, uh, doing really good right now. So that's a good thing. But aside from these ones, another release, we actually have a pair of Nike Vapor Waffles. I'm a huge fan of the shoe. And we have another pair, uh, the Nike Vapor Waffle uh, Dark Iris. I think this one, since it is a collaboration with Sakai, I think it's gonna be doing well. I'm not sure uh, as to how much it will be reselling for, but I think this could be a uh, could be a potential hold into the summer since I have seen the other Sakai Vapor Waffles go up over time. If I'm correct, I think the black colorway rose up over time and some of the other ones too, but I might be wrong. Go check me, uh, fact check me on that. Let me know in the comments if I'm right about the Vapor Waffles going up over time. Uh, so I think these ones could be a good hold. I think the colorway is honestly not half bad either. Kind of that purple with the orange. I really mess with it. I think it's a little bit different and you also kind of got this, I guess, like a navy, navy Nike swoosh. I don't really know. Uh, I mean, I mean, I think, yeah, I'd say navy and it kind of goes with it too. So I like the theme. I like the honest, uh, honestly, the colorway they chose for this one. So it's a good pair of shoes. So I think it could be a hold. And this one I think is dropping uh, towards the end of month. Yeah, April 27th is what they're saying. So uh, yeah, definitely look out for this one when it is going to be dropping. And one that I definitely want to talk about is the Nike Go Fly Ease. I think these are the ugliest things that have ever been made, but they are going to be reselling. So definitely make sure you go get your pair and cop them. So these are going to be reselling again for $120, dropping April 30th. So keep that in mind, mark your calendars. I mean, they're reselling, it's $120 retail, but they're reselling for like $220. So what does the sneaker game come to? I don't know, uh, is this the future of shoes? Uh, I, I hope not, I hope not. Um, but Nike, shout out to you for trying to be innovative. I mean, it is, it is a little bit different, I get it. You know, it's just like a shoe you can step in and out of. It's pretty dope, it's like a sock, you know, I get it. But um, I, I don't know, I just like, why? Why? Why does it have to look like this too? Like I know y'all, y'all, y'all are messing around at this point. What are you doing at Nike HQ? Like I'm disappointed, honestly. But it is cool. I cannot deny that, and it's money making. So, uh, is it a hole? I honestly, I, I have no clue. I have this one is I have no clue. I've never seen a shoe look like this. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, Maybe you experiment with it, hold it for six months, see what happens. But uh, there's another colorway of this one dropping with it also. But shoot, I mean, we'll see kind of what the hype is. If there's a ton of hype, then yeah, hold it. But we'll kind of let, I'll let y'all know kind of when, we, when it comes to that drop time. And fi the final one I want to discuss, we don't have the drop date for this one yet, but this kind of ACG, uh, I guess it's kind of like a, it says uh, ACG Terra, I guess that's the colorway, or Dunklo Celadon, that's what they're saying. But this one will be, again, not a hold, but it is kind of that nice material. I really mess with it, and it just will be kind of a sell. So, Kind of last one I want to mention right there. Not too many details on it. Just this April 2021, so it could get pushed back. Not really anything to confirm there. But that's really all I got to say right there. So I am going to end the screen recording. But again, that just released some upcoming April sneaker releases. Some where you can make some money and uh, you know get some profit right there. So that's all I really got to say right there. And um, let's roll the outro. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Again, if you guys do want more content just like this one where I kind of show you all again some upcoming sneaker releases, discuss whether you should sell or hold them, the drop date, stuff like that, just kind of like a format like this, then feel free to go ahead, subscribe below, and also drop a like. I'd really appreciate it again. You already know we're doing, you know, how-to cop videos, sneaker investment content. That's what we do here on the channel, uh, kind of showing you how to get releases and what you should do with them, or, you know, if you're just trying to wear them, sell them, whatever it is, I understand it. And yeah, you know, that's really all I got to say at this point. Other than one more thing, uh, if you want to check my Instagrams and Discords, those will be in the description. So feel free to check those out down below. I'd appreciate it. And uh, yeah, you know, now that's everything I got to say. I already said the like goal at the start, so I'm not going to like repeat it right here. But uh, if you want to drop a like too, I'd appreciate that. Again, helps the video get out there more, so I'd appreciate it. And yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. So I will see you on the next one. I'm Tristan. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch y'all then. Peace.